Hey guys, Michael here and Muffy um, with a, another real quick uh, video, hopefully quick. Uh, this is, um, uh, basically I'm doing these because I had all this stuff out doing something else and I just decided, you know what the hell, I'm just going to get these things out uh, while I'm doing it. I want to talk a little bit about this band right here, who you hear in the background. This is a, the great band Golden Boots. I love these guys. Uh, Golden Boots is basically a, de uh, a duo. Uh, Dimitri, I want to write this down so I wouldn't mess it up. Dim Dimitri Manos, who also plays in with the band uh, Dr. Dog, who you should also know about, really, it, I recommend. And Brian Eggleston. Uh, they're based in Tucson, Arizona, and... Um, they're just an amazingly good band. Uh, so I'm going to show you several things. Um, what you're hearing is the last thing I'm going to show you, which I think is a hilarious thing. This is uh, their album, The Winner of Our Discotheque, uh, which is on Park the Van Records. Um, mine's on uh, cool, clear red vinyl. Kind of neat. Can you see me? Um, uh, really good album and I think that title alone this was the kind of the first thing I noticed by them I was like okay you know these guys are they've got that witty sort of wordplay thing going on I like that so that was uh, the first thing I got from them and then I got this rascal um, this is Golden Boots their album DBX and SPF which was also re released I think on uh, park the van or something. Uh, uh, I I think, but um, but but this particular edition is on uh, people in a position to know. A great label. Uh, just talked about them a little bit ago. Uh, do beautiful, beautiful work, and I really like this. This particular one. Is one of an is an end of day. There are is no other, um, no other uh, record like this one. They each one of these are individual, and I think it's really kind of pretty in a very subtle way with the purple and kind of uh, neat stuff. I've seen some very flashy, bright colored ones, and those are cool too. But but I, I'm I'm quite happy with the one I got, and this is a great album. These guys are really good. They're really good. Very playful, kind of a uh, uh, um, pop with a little bit of a frizzled edge. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, uh, it, they're from the same area, uh, if not the same Tucson, I think. I think Giant Sand is from Tucson. Isn't Harry Gelb from Tucson? I think he is. Um, and and uh, sometimes I can, I feel like there's definitely some affinity there. Maybe it's got something to do with being in the desert and around a lot of really strange people who wander the desert all the time. I don't know. Great album. Love it. Uh, love it. Recommend anything by Golden Boots. And what you're listening to is this E.V. Cody Deathbed Surprise, which is, um, I think maybe it might be the most recent thing they've done. I think they've got another one on the way. Now, this was originally issued, um, I'm not sure how many there were. Uh, I think it was like 250 in one color, 250 in another color. Um, I don't remember what those colors were. And then there were supposed to be 200 or 250 in this swirl. Something went wrong with that pressing of the, the swirl ones. Wasn't acceptable at all. They went ahead and, and sold off the others and eventually the press who had manufactured the discs got around to making up for it. And what they made were these, which are, I think, just delicious. Kind of a sherbet, like orange sherbet or something. Um, a real mouth-watering color. Um, 
But they did some, and I think the record already had been pressed with some some wild stuff because I don't believe they remastered it, the plates or anything. They they simply had to press, you know, some more. Um, side one on this, and that, really the only way I can tell, and I always keep forgetting which side is which is to. Okay, I can also tell by the uh, length of the uh, runout. So this is side. Oh, duh. Side A uh, <laughs> um, has two parallel tracks that um, run, si run along side by side. So when you put the needle down, it's just a random thing as to whether you get parallel track one or parallel track two. Um, obviously, the songs aren't you know separated in the normal way with you know uh, any delineation. And I think there are six tracks on that side. I'm pretty sure. It, I could be wrong. There are nine songs total on the album. The other side is um, it plays from the inside out. So they really decided they were going to fuck with you anyway when they made this one. Uh, it's like, well, let's just make the most fun mess with you kind of record that we can. Well, by the time these got in, these these discs got to back to them, this uh, the the sleeves, which were all hand screened, and ha and the other 500 or so have a different sleeve, also hand screened. When you do silk screening, after you've done your run you clean out the whole thing so that you can reuse the screen and that's exactly what had happened with this. Um, so they decided, well, okay, we're going to have to make a new sleeve, which they did. Um, and, however, in the process, then uh, Dimitri and, and Ryan, I guess, decided, you know what, let's do something extra. Let's have some fun with this. So we'll go ahead and we'll also include a, a cassette, a new cassette. So they did. But what did they do? Well, it's glued right onto the sleeve. You can't remove it without destroying the sleeve. <laughs> Which makes it, it's one of those records, it's like, where do I put it? How am I going to store this sucker? Well, there's a, there's a way. You just find some, you know, mailers, are they're always putting extra pieces of stuff in there, um, to cardboard, you know, well just get some and cut that out. I still haven't done it so mine leans up. And this is called, uh, <laughs> Telelog Freedom. And uh, it's just a cassette only thing. It is not on the other thing. And it did not come with the download. I have never heard it to this day because I don't have a cassette player anymore. Haven't for quite some time. But I will. I will. Um, so that there's that. And I do have one other thing which I can show you twice. Uh, but it'll kind of in introduce a little bit of the, the next guy that I'm going to show. And that is this, which is a split 7-inch record between Juan and Golden Boots. Um, came in this rather odd uh, sleeve that folds out like this and um, uh, with some stuff and it did it did come with a, a download and uh, like this uh, one side is Juan doing Dirty Penny and I'm Afraid of Little Girls and on this side is Golden Boots doing Passers By and a Nothing um, kind of a cool split seven inch. This label is a great label, you know. Um, Tim Guthrie, who's in the YouTube vinyl community, he's not a member of our little goat clan. I thought he was at one point, but he's not now. Um, uh, you know, by the way, this is 258 out of 500 of these. I don't know if there are more, but they have a lot of stuff. They're very reasonable. 
and um, you can find them online. Just look up P I A P T K, and uh, and you'd find them. Cool label, uh, cool handmade stuff. That's what they're. That's what he's really all about. Um, but what a great band! This this band is very enjoyable. Um, in a, in a you know a little freaky, but um, uh, very enjoyable, very enjoyable indeed. Uh, that's all I've got to say on this one. I will, uh, however, this did sort of introduce the next video, which is going to be about wand. <laughs>